Hi, Anderson. This picture purports to show Kim Jong-un with a miniaturized nuclear weapon. People laughed at it when it came out last year, but now if they believe this is the real deal, what does it show us? Well, it would suggest that this would be about two feet across. Experts say it might weigh 500, 600 pounds, something like that. And it would have potentially the destructive potential of those bombs that you mentioned, which the United States dropped on Japan 72 years ago this week. But look at the difference in size. Each of these was 10 to 11 feet long, weighed around something around 10,000 pounds. These had to be carried by a heavy bomber. This is a different thing altogether. In this case, maybe you are talking about something that can fit in the nose cone of one of their existing missiles. If that is the case, it changes the game because their last missile test went 2,300 miles up into space, way above the space station, way above many satellites out there. Yeah, it only went 621 land miles, but that's because it basically went straight up and came straight down. Some scientists say if you flatten out that trajectory, if you fire it across the Earth, then you could reach Guam, you could reach Hawaii, Alaska, and some scientists say, based on the weight of the payload, in theory, they could reach about half of the United States and some major cities in here. Anderson? What, what challenges do the North Koreans still face in this development? Well, significant ones, I think. The reason we say, in theory, is because scientists have looked at this and said, look, even if you give them range, if you say they've figured out thrust enough that we can say there's a green light on the possibility of a missile simply strong enough to carry a nuke that far, there are gigantic questions about this part, accuracy and reliability. Technically, getting a missile into space and bringing it back at that angle through the atmosphere without it tearing apart or burning up and then delivering a warhead to a target, those are gigantic challenges. And this is at best a yellow light because there is no sign yet that North Korea has figured out that part of the equation. But bear in mind, only a few weeks ago, we had a red light here on the idea that they had a miniaturized nuclear warhead to even consider this with, because so many scientists said that simply could not be the case at this point. Now, though, we're getting these reports, maybe this belongs more in the yellow zone. And you can see it right there, Anderson, the way that North Korea has steadily kept marching towards something that they very much want, even though so many in the world, including the United States, don't want them to have it.